Well, good morning once again, guys, and welcome back to what's going to be part three of the rear end swap on Grandma. Let's dig into it. So a couple of wise guys in the comments of the last video were uh, taking some of the words that I had said about Grandma's rear end, uh, literally, and uh, just want to let you guys know that I appreciate the comments and I will do my best not to do that again, but if it just happens to slip out, well, it does. Today, we're going to get rubbing on Grandma's rear end here. No, we're not. We're going to start sanding down on Grandma's rear end with the wire brush and get that cleaned up. But before we do that, I wanted to show you guys something that I learned um, that might be beneficial to you guys at some point in time if you're ever working on a rear axle on a Ford 8.8. Let me take a look. So you guys know that the ABS sensor sticks through this hole on this plate, uh, which I've actually got loosened up at this point. Uh, but one of the things that we were having trouble with was getting that to go back through so that we could remove it. Well, here's a tip. I started off with this 13 millimeter socket and I just put it over top against the rubber side of the ABS sensor itself. I started tapping on it and pushed it back. Once it became flush with this plate here, I then dropped down to a 10 millimeter deep socket. And once I had that in, I could kind of drive it the whole way home. And before you know it, I had that sensor out in my hand. So just a little tip for you when you're working on these 8.8s or any other vehicle that has the ABS sensor coming through that back plate. So I hope that helped. So some of you guys in the last couple of videos have been asking, wouldn't it be easier if we just took the differential carrier and pinion bearing out of this axle and swapped it out in grandma? That's an option, yes. To some, it may be easier. To others, it's a little more frustrating. We're doing a little bit of a budget build here, so regardless of price, I'm sure the price would be the same no matter how you did it. But then there's a few fellows who are saying, you know, make sure you replace all the bearings, all the seals, all of this, all of that. Well, if it's any consolation, I did replace the seals on the ends. And one thing I'll remind you guys to do to prevent premature seal failure is to grease the inside of this seal before you put your axles in. Because if you don't, you're going to get premature wear. These will start leaking in no time at all. Somebody also said, make sure you're replacing the bearings, the axle bearings well. These bearings are good, and how do I know they're good? Well, there's no wear. They are clean. The fluid that came out of it is clean and not burnt. So I'm gonna take a chance. They're not that big of a deal to change after the fact if they do become an issue. Besides, it's more content for the channel. Um, back to the actual carrier pinion and ring gear. The reason why I'm doing it this way is simply this. I absolutely hate setting up rear differentials. It's, is it that I'm not very good at it? Maybe. Uh, is it that I don't have very much experience with it? Absolutely. So when it comes to doing that, I don't want to have to mess with, you know, setting backlash and this and that and then your crush bushing or whatever it is that you go and you put in there in the front of the pinion. I don't want to deal with that. Um, it's all set up. It's set up from the factory and because this is a low mileage axle out of a P71, um, I'm fine with it being just the way it is. I'm not scared about it one bit. And again, some people were saying in the comments, well, you know, those cars get a hard life if you don't know what the story is. Yep, yeah, you're right, they do. But one thing those cars also get is they also get regular maintenance. When I pulled, when I pulled the differential cover off this thing and the clear fluid came out, or fairly clear and no smell, I'm confident that A, that it was well maintained and B, there are no burnt clutches in that track lock carrier. So I'm not too worried about it. We're gonna put this thing back together once we get it cleaned up and we're just gonna do a simple swap. We're gonna remove the control arms, we're gonna remove the uh, watch link and just switch everything over. We're gonna put new shocks on it, we're gonna replace all the brakes um, because on grandma, it needs to be done anyway. So I'm just gonna do it on this axle and then we'll do a quick swap uh, one day and it shouldn't take much more than a half hour 40 minutes probably to swap everything from one to the next so anyways that's why we're doing that today's video is going to be cleaning up this axle and getting it prepped and painted let's get to it 
Okay, so we've got the axle drawn out here to the outside uh, because it's a little bit breezy out here. And this is gonna be creating a lot of dust. I've already done a little test spot right here and well, it filled this area up full of dust. So, so we've got our trusty mask on. We're gonna to get to grinding this thing. So let's get to work. So this is actually working out pretty good. We've got the top section or actually the bottom section all done up and uh, it's coming out really, really well. All that loose scale is gone. We're gonna have to get in here with a uh, scraper uh, into the areas that we couldn't get at, but uh, we're gonna flip this thing over, get it finished up. And then we'll come back at you when we're getting ready to do the rust converter on this whole thing. Okay, so we've got the uh, axle all ground down. We got all the rough spots off of it or at least most of it, the stuff that I was worried about and uh, we've got our rust converter here that I picked up from Napa. Now this is a uh, Dominion Sure Seal Limited brand. A lot of guys ask me when I use this stuff where do I where I get it. Uh, if you're in Canada, pretty much any of your Napa stores should carry this. Basically, anywhere that you uh, can pick up body shop supply should have some sort of a rust converter. I do know that uh, Eastwood has a product as well. So what we're going to do now is we're going to spray this down. Uh, over the whole axle, let it penetrate overnight and dry, and then we can come back tomorrow and we can shoot a coat of black on this or two. So let's get to spraying this. Now one thing about this product because you'll want to be upwind from it because it does smell really bad and can take your breath away. So just be careful of that. All right, so now we're gonna get this thing flipped over so we can do the other side. Now, the reason why I'm using a rag is I don't wanna get the stuff in my bare hands. I'm not sure if it hurts you or not. But I know it stains. It stays on there for quite a while. So this thing is already starting to look better with this coat of uh, rust converter on it. We'll come back in the morning. It should be quite dark and dry and uh, we won't have to sand or do anything with it prep wise. We'll just spray it with the black paint, uh, the rust paint, and then we'll be ready to swap this thing out, hopefully in the next video. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Anyways, as we sit right now, we are done with doing what we're going to do with this, with the exception of the brakes and all that stuff when we do switch it over. But Having said that, it's time to close out this video. I'm gonna go wash up and we'll head home. So guys, don't forget the Car Guy 6 Fan Show is this Thursday evening. It's on Grant's channel this time, who is Street 6 Fan. And we're hosting a guest from Sally Speed Shop. You're not gonna to wanna to miss out. We anticipate lots of great discussion coming out of the chat. So I hope that you'll head on over there and give us a view. The show starts at seven o'clock central, eight Eastern and nine local time on Grant's channel and make sure you hit that subscribe button on his channel as well as mine and click those notification bells so that you get notified anytime we go live for the car guy and six fan show having said all of that guys stay tuned to the next episode where we get this uh axle swap completed hopefully 100 percent and we can start peeling some rubber with both wheels on old grandma so stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror i love you god bless Let's do it again real soon. So, I don't want to call you wise asses, but you were. So a couple of wise guys in the comments of the last video. Well guys, as we pull away from work here tonight on this uh, Wednesday in the truck stalls, 
Well guys, as we pull away from work this Wednesday, well guys, as we pull away from work this Wednesday, don't forget that tomorrow evening we have a guest on the car, take three maybe. Well guys, as we pull away from work this week, no, not this week. As we pull away from work on this Wednesday, don't forget tomorrow evening is the Car Guy and Six Fan Show where we will have a special guest. So I hope that you'll join us tomorrow evening on It's Grant's channel. Welcome to Grant's channel. So I hope you'll join us tomorrow evening on Straight Six Fans channel. And that way. So tomorrow's show will be live on Grant's channel, who is Straight Six Fan. I will leave his link right up here in the description box. Blah, blah, blah. No, I won't. Come on. As well, if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button on my channel. And again, that notification bell, I hope that you'll do that because, well, I want you to subscribe. We're on our way to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I need your help to do that. It's free. It doesn't cost a thing. So please, just click the red button. Turn it right. Two cameras and driving. No. It's probably against the law anyway.